Ricky Gervais, actor-director, stand-up comedian, co-writer and co-director of The Office and Extras, and writer of the best-selling Flanimals book series. As Gervais' success continues to grow worldwide, he has made spreading awareness of a man named Carl Pilkington one of his top priorities. But who is Carl Pilkington? It's a guy called Carl Pilkington. Yeah, he, he's and, the producer. Yeah, and he's, he's amazing, because he's an oddity, and he won't mind me saying this, because he won't fully understand it. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Carl Pilkington grew up in Manchester, England and had what he suggests was an unusual upbringing. He was never motivated about his education and left school without collecting his GCSE exam results. It was later revealed that although he didn't remember taking the test, he attained one grade, an E in history. After various odd jobs, Carl found himself working for London radio station XFM as head of production. It was there that he met Stephen Merchant and Ricky Gervais. Appearing occasionally at first, Carl's strange thoughts entertained them and their audiences so much that they made him a permanent part of the show. Ricky and Steve realised that they could discuss topics such as society, health and nature with Carl and that it would have unpredictable results. His responses were so hilarious that audiences were cautious as to whether he was a real person or whether the show had been scripted. They suggested that he was played by a man named Graham, which greatly annoyed Carl and greatly amused Ricky and Steve. Carl's role evolved as the show went on, to the point that he created his own segments, the most famous being Monkey News. Right, where's the fire? And they said, oh, it's on, like, uh, floor 100 or whatever. And they said, oh, no, we've brought the fire engine with the short ladders. He made appearances on other radio shows and even a few TV shows, including a cameo in the series finale of Extras. Don't we sign that? No, you're all right, mate. Cheers. There's no one else in there. No, it's, it's all right. We, yeah. we can never get it filled. Yeah. He became a cult phenomenon, and the Ricky Gervais Show podcasts were downloaded by the millions. They continue to be among the top-selling audiobooks on iTunes, and are currently being adapted into an animated series by HBO. Let's invent an injection, and then it's like, right, well, what, what else do we need to go to that place? There's a lot of faffing. <laughs> <laughs> Carl penned The World of Carl Pilkington, containing a few original drawings and anecdotes, as well as transcripts from the podcasts. He has since also written Happy Slap by a Jellyfish and Carlology, which focuses on places he's visited and things he has learned. The fascination surrounding Carl is somewhat forced by Gervais and Merchant, but there is undoubtedly something special about this man. Besides the fact that he's got a head like a fucking orange.